How cool is this? Our urban wild animals. But it seems our cunning little friends are not cleverer than their country counterparts. Scientists gave them both puzzles to solve and it turns out there's not much difference between a London fox and the rest of them. Overall, what we found is that urban foxes had a tendency to behave a little bit bolder than rural foxes, but they weren't necessarily more likely to engage in the problem-solving behaviors that we were uh, expecting to find. We're still doing some studies to figure out why, but one of the explanations for their behavior is that we believe they like rewards that are low risk and easily accessible. Matt Moran is London's own fantastic Mr. Fox when it comes to taking photos of them. Twice included as wildlife photographer of the year, He's spent more than seven years taking shots of urban foxes. Matt's actually away on holiday in France, but with fox-like cunning, we tracked him down. I like the fact that what it shows is that a lot of these foxes are just lazy. You can't be bothered to make a lot of effort to, to find food. Do you think we've all got it wrong? The urban foxes is, is kind of smarter, more savvy, and all the country foxes are a bit slow. Yeah, I think so. So I published a book a few years ago with two other photographers, and one of them always gave me stick about the ease with which I could get close to urban foxes. And they're notoriously hard to get close to. But this idea that, that they're more clever, I don't know whether I would buy that. They certainly have to scent mark more in, in, in the urban environment because things like cars or coffee cups or bits of rubbish that they're constantly scent marking are moving a lot. Many people think, oh, they just make a mess and they're raiding our bins. And I always argue that that's a human problem. That's not a fox problem. And what's the fascination with foxes in London? Because it always freaks people out when they see a fox in London. What, what, what do you make of it? I think that they fascinate people because they're you know, a relic of our once wilder past. It might have taken a study to find out, but we now know a fox is just a fox, wherever they are. Rags Martel, ITV News.